Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your 10 minute dumbbell fire quick hit. You can go ahead and start moving because we are gonna jump right into that workout. We'll get right around a minute of some movement prep but not a formal warm up. So just make sure you're marching, rolling those shoulders to the back, just getting everything warm and ready to go however you need to move to get it going. You can jog, you can march, whatever you got. Take it here, a little hinge. So. We've got dumbbell fire in the 10 minute quick hit format. If you've done any of the other fire workouts, it is similar. Let's take in here knees. You've got 30 seconds of strength, followed by 30 seconds of power, and then 30 seconds of what we call our fire round. So that's what we really go for it. So we're building it. Feel free to stick with your strength round or your power round if that's better for you. Go for it if you really want that high intensity interval. I'll give you options. Grab those dumbbells. We're gonna start with a curl into a squat. Here we go. Curl, squat, and down. Zip up that curl. Core as you curl, right? So it can be a hammer curl like I've got, and then sit low in the squat, or it can be your regular curl, whatever is good for you. So this is your basic strength round. So use this time to get that good form, slow and controlled, five seconds, all right, now we're gonna make it a little clean if you want. Here's your power. Clean, squat, here we go. Clean, squat. So that clean is just a little hinge, power. Everything else looks the same. So if that feels weird to you, you just keep the curl into the squat. When we get to that fire, we're gonna add a press to it in 10 seconds. But 10 seconds power, clean and squat. Take it up, little lift off the ground that power, drive it through, last one. Let's add a press, fire, clean, squat, press, whoo, clean, squat, press. Yes, team, this fire round is where you really go for it. You know you have a 30 second breather coming. And good news, this is a no repeat workout. Once you're done with that three round circuit, strength, power, fire, then you're done. Three, two, one. Relax, give your hands a break. Woo! All right, team, let's keep it going. We're gonna take it to a row. I'm gonna grab one of my heavier ones. Woo! So we start with just our regular row. Woo! Then we're gonna take it into the plank. Then we're gonna add some jacks. So your regular row, shoulders back. We're here, bring it up and down, just like that. Core zipped, roll those shoulders back, hinge, here we go, 30 seconds, just your row. If you need to, you can always stagger strong arms all the way through. And also if you need to, you can alternate. That works too. If you're like me, you got the heavies. 15 is heavy for me right now. Core engaged, it's a good hinge. We're gonna take it to the plank in a minute. You can keep it up top if you want to, but we're gonna add some power just by adding the core. You've got three two, one, drop it down right here. High plank, if you can, I want you to be here. Remember you can keep it up top to modify or take it to your knees, up to you. If you want two dumbbells, hands on both or come into that plank on either side, hands on the ground. Whatever feels better for you. Some people feel better with their hands on the dumbbell, that's better for the wrist. Some people, it's better up top. Here's what we're gonna add, two plank jacks, right here. You got one row, jack for two. One row, jack for two. If you're on your knees, one row, I want you to just tap back, tap back. One row, tap and tap. Keep it going, up, strong, jacks. We got 10 seconds, out and in, fire. Last one, whoo, out and in, breathe. All right, two circuits down. All right, let's get it done. All right, we're going to whoo, a press and a squat. I'm gonna go one heavy. So we got our toes out. We're gonna take it transverse squat. So we're opening it up right here. Then we're gonna add a press. Then we'll add a jump with no weight. So. Weight down or weight up or two weights, up to you. Three, two, 
One, here we go. Down and up. It's a transverse. You're here, right? Down and up. Just your lower body to start, right? Lower body got a little break on that row. Open on the diagonal. Transverse means diagonal, right? So we got it there. That feels weird, just get a plie. Toes out, diagonal, all the way through. Breathe, bring that weight up. Add your press, here we go. Transverse, press, drop it low, and up. Down, and up. Yes, breathe. All the way through. I know those legs are gonna be tired, but guess what? They get a break after this. We're here. Down and up. Three, two, one. Weight down, here we go. Jump, jump, bring that fire. Whatever you got. If it's low impact and you're just stepping, that works too if you can add that jump. That works too if you wanna keep the transverse and the press. Either way, fire around for heart rate and muscle burn. 10 seconds, breathe, yes. I know, keep it going. Three, two, one, catch your breath. 30 seconds, we're down on our back with some dumbbells. Hmm. We are gonna get some triceps going on your back. Triceps and bridge, then you can keep it with the bridge or you can take it, whoo, breathe, ha. All right, team. So triceps, we're bending here, one dumbbell or two with that bridge, then we add a little core, then we add a little fire. Here we go, bend everything up. Slow that heart rate while you're here. Bend in the elbows and drive it up, yes. Down and up, you got this. Core engaged, I know. Breathe, all the way through. Yes, burn out those triceps, they are strong, they can do it. Three, two, one. This time, let's get those legs going in a bicycle. Start with that to add the power, then add those tries, I know. Down and up, whoo, strong core, you can do it. Strong triceps, you can do it, I know. And breathe, we are so close to being done with this workout, guess what? Our last round, we're gonna take it to a press. So we'll still keep those triceps working, but not the isolation. Turn them in right here, quicker. You can lift the shoulders if you want that extra core, but I want you to stay pulled in nice and deep. This is your fire, fire burn for muscles. So out and in instead of those triceps, but those triceps should still be working. Core on fire, keep the bridge if you need to modify. 10 seconds, then we're in our last move. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up, team. I know, whoo, breathe. All right, guess what? We're gonna take it with our curtsy lunge. I know, we're taking it here. Then we're gonna add a little swing at the top for some power, and then we got power all the way through. So stay with me. Whew. Not swing, snatch is what I meant. Starting with a curtsy, adding the snatch, and then we take it all the way through with a swing. In three, two, one, curtsy, 30 seconds. Cross behind, tap it in. Cross behind, tap it in, yes. Here to here. Breathe, yes. All the way through, get low if you can. If you need to modify, just tap it here but in that outer thigh and glute, yes. Whoo, breathe. So you can keep it just right here or drop one of those dumbbells. Watch me here. Snatch, switch it. Snatch, switch it. Drive it up or high pull. Here's your modifier, right? You can also take those two hands, I guess, and just snatch on the inside, right? And up. And up, there we go. So I know it feels a little counterintuitive, 
but we're taking it to our swing. We're gonna give ourselves a second to get set up. Finish this last one right here. So breathe for a second. You can do that ski or swing. Two dumbbells or one heavy dumbbell in the center. It's up to you. I'm gonna take it with two. Shoulders back. Last 30 seconds in three, two, one. Power, fire. If you're not comfortable with the swing, just keep that curtsy lunge or a deadlift. It's up to you. Press those feet into the ground. Lock those glutes, hamstrings, knees at the top. Arms are along for the ride. That's it. Power, zip up that core. All the way through. Keep it going. For five, four, three, two, one. Relax, yes, you did it. Pedal those feet, stretch that back, hang out here. Whew, for just a second. Yes, team, ha, oh, I know. Shake it out, whew. Dumbbells to the side. We are not gonna do very much of a cool down, so make sure you get it on your own, but little taps, shake it out. Thank you for being here for that quick hit. These quick hits and 10 minute workouts, and I have a lot of them, stretch those hamstrings since we're here are great finishers if you wanna add on to a shorter workout or if you feel like you still got some gas in the tank at the end of a longer workout, go for it. Or on a day that you're just really short on time but you wanna get something in, you can tell that 10 minutes was intense. We got full body, we got everything working for strength and cardio, but just 10 minutes. So go ahead, use these 10 minute workouts when you need something short, whenever that is. Check them out, whoo, shake it out, arms to the back. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Let me know in the comments if you like this format, if you felt it, what you wanna see more of. And of course, if you're looking for more, join us over in the Body Fit Athletic Club. You can find all of the information you need in the description below. Thank you for being here today. One big deep breath in and out. That was your 10 minute dumbbell fire quick hit workout. Great job, everybody.